Hi, I'm Sheila Graves, CEO of Simply Violin and a violin dealer for 30 years. Today we're going to look at how to change a chin rest. I'm going to remove the chin rest from this violin and I'm going to show you how to install two different types of chin rests. A chin rest that mounts to the side of the tailpiece and a different chin rest that mounts over the tailpiece like this one. The reason we're taking this off is that the owner of the violin is finding this chin rest uncomfortable and also it is uh, actually hitting the tailpiece. You can hear it there. Um, so you don't want the chin rest uh, hitting the tailpiece because that can cause buzzing, it can mute the instrument, uh, it's just not something that you want. So the first thing that we do is we take our chin rest key and carefully insert it into one of the holes in the chin rest barrel. And what you want to do is be very, very careful not to slip and not to let the chin rest key go all the way through the other side because it's very easy to scrape the violin and once we get it close, we can just loosen it the rest of the way by hand. And as you can see on this violin, it actually has been uh, marked up a couple of times. So the first chin rest we're going to put on is this chin rest, which is a side mounted chin rest. Uh, so the hardware will mount to the side of the tailpiece. And then this part will go over the top of the tailpiece. We start by loosening the barrels a little bit, and these are called barrels. Uh, this whole section here is called hardware. Of course, this is the chin rest. So, we check it, it's still too short. So I'm turning the barrels to the left to loosen them and make it a little bit longer. Okay, and then I'm going to tighten it as much as possible by hand doing each side um, pretty evenly. And now I'm ready to actually tighten down the chin rest. The first thing that I do is look to make sure that the chin rest is clearing the tailpiece. I don't want it bumping or hitting. So I've got the chin rest positioned where I want it. And maybe a little bit over just a hair more. And now I'm ready to tighten it down. So I stick the chin rest key in the barrels and I turn to the right to tighten the, the chin rest. And now I can feel that it's getting snug and I just want the chin rest on tight enough so that it doesn't move or wiggle when I move the chin rest. Now this may change with the seasons. Uh, you may find in the winter or the summer that your chin rest becomes loose and it may need to be tightened again. But there you have it. The chin rest is all installed on the violin. So that's how to install the side mounted chin rest. Now I'm going to take this one off and I will install a different chin rest that mounts over the tailpiece. Okay. So I've got my chin rest here and you can see by the placement of the barrels and the, the cutout here for the tailpiece that this chin rest is going to mount over the tailpiece. So looks like it needs to be a little looser on the side. There we go. I've got it on the violin. I'm going to try to tighten it by hand. And then I get my chin rest key. And I just uh, start tightening. You want to do um, one side and then the other. And you'll just want to keep moving back and forth between the two sides. Otherwise, if the barrels are being tightened unevenly, it 
can throw the chin rest out of whack and make it not want to tighten properly. And again, being careful not to scratch the violin with the chin rest key. Okay, I'm starting to feel some resistance now. So I nearly have it as tight as I want it. I don't want to over tighten because if I do, I could crack the instrument. And a little bit more on this side. And then I just check it to make sure that it's on securely. I am looking underneath to make sure I've got good clearance. And I'm going to check nothing is hitting. And there we've installed the over the tailpiece chin rest. And it's just that simple. Mm -hmm.